Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay. I founded Amrita Homeopathy 20 years back in 1997. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics and infertility. Thyroid is a gland in your body which produces two hormones, T3 and T4. Pituitary is another gland in the body which is the master controller of all the glands which secretes thyroid stimulating hormone which stimulates the thyroid making it to release T3 and T4. So if the thyroid is functioning excessively, T3, T4 in the body starts increasing and pituitary gets a message that thyroid is functioning excessively and it should not stimulate the thyroid that much and so the thyroid stimulating hormone that is the TSH starts reducing and in turn the thyroid is stimulated less and T3, T4 comes back to normal. So this condition where the T3, T4 is elevated and TSH is on the lower side is called hyperthyroidism. Normal TSH values range from 0.3 to 4.2 though earlier days we used to consider 0.3 to even up to 5.5 as a normal range but there are certain kits which are still available which quote 0.3 to 5.5 as the normal range there are certain other kits in which the normal range is mentioned as 0.3 to 4.2 so if we find the thyroid values within this range then generally from the medical point of view we consider that thyroid is not uh, having any major issue and it need not be treated with supplementation or with any medicines at that point but let us say the value is uh, a little bit too much on the lower side let us say your TSH value is less than 2 less than 1.5 then most probably what happens in these subjects a lot of them later on in life we've seen that they turn on to hypothyroid subjects that is suppose your TSH is on the lower side for very long periods certain individuals there is less stimulation of the thyroid and we find that there is less production of T3 and T4 and these people gradually can head to hypothyroidism so in this condition it is important that the patient should not start any medication but should take care about the diet. So this is what we need to do in these kind of conditions. Certain foods are goitrogenic which can cause thyroid problems, certain foods are not. So this you should be aware about. Cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, processed food, preserved food and refined sugars are known to be uh, not good for the thyroid gland. There are certain foods which are very helpful for thyroid like cranberry for instance is very good for the thyroid functions especially it is useful in hyperthyroidism where thyroid is functioning uh, excessively salt containing iodine helps in hyperthyroidism there are excellent medicines in homeopathy which can improve the function of the thyroid gland like thyroidinum is one of the major medicines which is used calcarea iode sulfur iode natrum iode and all these medicines are found to be very useful in thyroid functions. Iodum and spongia are other two major medicines used in improving the functions of the thyroid gland. I've had many patients with thyroid problems where we have brought back the value to normal with just homeopathic medicines where it has been identified uh, with just homeopathic medicines even by examining the hair you can tell whether this patient has got a thyroid problem or not.